Alright, on go. Three, two, one, go. This is a demo review for Aperture Science Intern. He's a medic trying out for a silver team. I think, yeah, I did one for him already, so. Alright, so yeah, you guys. So this time you're doing the standard hole. I like this a lot more. Where you're um, on the like top left side instead of holding really far forward. This is also on a much better team. Yeah. I inexplicably am now rostered on an actual high silver team. Yeah, that's cool. Are you playing with these guys? Yep. Right. Yeah, I was gonna. I was thinking about playing with them, but I said, yep, just play sixes, chill out. Wait, is this a Highlander demo review? Yeah. Oh, I was off to a bad start. I was discussing Spy. <laughs> Wait, no Spy. Ah! I won Highlander, it's okay. Just make sure you mind the, um, the sniper sight line from far left when you cross. I like to stay behind this wall instead of in front of it, basically. And know that you can shoot through the crack in the wall, like to your left here. So oh, I did not have, know that. Yeah, you have to have control of the sniper if you're going to be where the gun is, because the crack in the wall you can shoot right through. We got rolled on a scrim against Timeless recently. And I'm actually... I'm, I'm happy that I only died once. Yeah, I feel like you can be more aggressive with your heals if you're in the area behind the sentry gun. I really don't like putting yourself like in a corner like this, especially right here, it's sort of a little open. I like being on the other side of the wall a lot more. Okay. <laughs> I can absolutely do that. So he can shoot through the crack in that wall, but still just play a little bit further forward anyway? No, you're on the on the right here, like if you walk up to the right. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I see what you're talking about. Uh... That's just poor mechanics to let your demo get dropped. You got juggled in a place where you shouldn't have been juggled, basically. Um, yeah, that was my fault. You just want to be careful, like, hitting your space button and there were stickies under you so you got knocked around. Once again, so when you come up here to cross over, you just want to make sure you're watching the sniper sight line. You should have your pyro peek for you first. Yeah, somebody called that he was down, actually, okay. which is why I went which is why I went over when okay, I did. That's just as good, then. Okay, that so is where is I the, remembered the, this is oh the wait, sort no. of like, less committal hold. Um, so it's important for your sniper to get a lot of deals in this hold. He's generally going to be playing in the tunnel for this. He did not know where we were. Oh, okay. Yeah, him getting... Because yeah. basically you're depending on him to watch main here. Without him uh, just walk up for free all the way. We had very cluttered comms right about now, and um, he did not know where we were. I don't know when we actually managed to get a solid position call up. Um, right there, I think you might have been better suited to rotate all the way through tunnel and Uber from there. Um, either way, it sort of ended up working out, but that could have given you a better angle to take the Uber in. They popped into us, so it was a little bit awkward, and um... Yeah, but what, like, what I'm saying is, if you'd rotated back like to this hallway to your left, and then started refighting from there with your Uber. Um, you could have, oh, you could have oh, had a lot oh. longer before you needed to use because there wasn't really like everybody was basically safe too. They like, kind of pushed in and we pushed back, and so instead drop back and yeah, wait for their yeah, Uber to fade out a little bit more. Like eight seconds of uncontested Uber instead of you had like four. Okay, I will keep that in mind. That's like you can't just do that by yourself. It has to be something you talk about doing with your team. You can call like back up or kite the Uber or something like that. I will point it out to Bala, he is main calling. Yeah. So I'll bring that up with him when I see him next. Yeah. I don't like how little heals. I feel like you could be playing more aggressively um, for your demo to get more heals. Uh, okay, you go down demo and heavy here. But it looks like there's a lot of room still. I would definitely be playing aggro, like your pyro can't be spy checking when you lose your whole combo, your pyro has to be playing aggro and making space at that point, and you would have to be the one spy checking. Uh, 
Yeah, I I feel like I play very passively, and you pointed yeah. this out the last time. You, you know, I'm just I'm not quite confident in what I'm doing yet because. You did uh you did sort of walk away from your team. Also, if there's a spy on you, you can crouch in the dispenser and he can't do any damage to you if you just keep crouch in the dispenser. Okay, yeah. I will keep that in it, mind. It block like cuz he has to shoot through the dispenser so blocks before he can shoot you. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. If there's ever like a scout on you or an ambi spy that helps. I will keep that in mind. Another thing um, worth noting on defense is if you see a chance to trade your ubers out in front of the sentry gun, um, and like you can have a better uber than them, like you can force them to multi a lot. You did see that spy out of the corner of your eye and just sort of nod acknowledge him. But anyways, so like if you see that you can have an uber where you force them and like force them to multi, like if they're stacked up around that corner, you can pop into them and trade the ubers where like there's no sentry gun for them to even destroy, and then back up to the sentry gun, and that can buy you another minute of your hold for free. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Um, okay, your sniper's down, and their sniper's down, so their sniper's gonna spawn first. Uh, mm -hmm. Their uber is entirely focused on, like, the gun area. Uh, this would be a really good uber to have a scout in. Yeah, I think our scout was down. I'm not sure where he was, and we kind of had an awkward hold here, um, Bala didn't get out, I don't think that Space got out, oh wait, Space did get out, Bala didn't get out, and I was kind of stuck without people to heal yeah. for this. what you needed to do was communicate to your demo where that, like, you should have seen that Uber, like, like, you had a No, we saw it, he's yeah. playing very aggressively, I think he's a soldier main by nature, and sometimes forgets that he's playing demo now. Yeah. You just needed to, like, tell him where you were gonna go, and, like, as long as you tell that to him, like, it's not your fault when, if he dies or anything, but it looked like he sort of didn't, like, there wasn't a plan for that Uber, he didn't really know what, what you wanted to do before you used it. You can see, like, their flank sort of overrunning, so, I don't know. If uh, yeah, and if our, heavy gonna... was, our heavy was on a phone call here and did not oh. turn around to get the okay. soldier. <laughs> yeah, which is always fun. This is another time where your NG, I, is your NG set up good? Even if, whether or not, I'm not if your I NG is, like, is set up or not, if, what I would do here is if, like, I got a sniper pick, I would use that as a chance to play really aggro on them, because they can't, like, drop you or force you that easily, and if I force them first just by, like, getting aggro with my demo, then that means that we'll have a better rebirth and the sentry should be able to live. And moreover, if we're playing aggro and we force them, they uh -huh. can't then get the sentry gun with that uber because yeah. they'll be... Channel. What? Here, I'll move this. Can you kick me? I don't know, I'll move this. Alright, this sounds like a lot of stuff that I should be bringing up with Bala then. Yeah. Stupid arrow. I don't arrow. love your NG's positioning here. He's not really on the gun. You need to make sure, yeah, you're... Okay, this is a good uber for you. Just keep making sure no one gets dropped. After this uber, I'd like to see you have been able to back up to your heavy and crit kill her and then keep fighting from there, like if she was just sitting around the corner or something like that? I'm not sure. This is the period where she was on the phone, and okay. so we were just kind of trusting her to position herself yeah. because we couldn't actually communicate with her. Right. Uh, yeah, just... So I'm not sure what she was doing there. Yeah, that's actually that's not a bad Uber to have your heavy in, like at the very, like for the last, like, 10% of the Uber. Because um, she'll well, be able to just, like, shoot all of them in this little tiny hallway. Yeah, I mean, because they're in the hallway and they can't leave, and they were they were pushed very far into us. Yeah. I do think there's a lot of times in the movie where you're sort of letting people die. Um, like, you have, like, a very, very few deaths, which is, like, good in itself, but I think there's times you could try and commit your heals a bit more aggressively. All right, I'm I'm kind of playing under the assumption that um, I should I should play more passively until I'm more confident with my aggression. But yeah, you're right. Especially since, and also part of that was this is a tryout scrim, and so yeah. I didn't I didn't want to be the screw up for this. Yeah. But you're right that once we start doing scrims, now that I'm actually on the team, I and this is where I die. Um, 
I I should experiment with playing more aggressively because you are. Yeah. Like if you're, yeah, if there's a time to work on playing. Like scrims aren't about like winning scrims, are about winning. So yeah, no. Well, now that I'm aggressive. now that I'm on the team, I I agree with you. I really should try and mess around more with playing very aggressively with heals. Oh, hey, this was awkward. Yeah. We did not call where we were playing beforehand, and Bala got confused with calls. I should have just asked where the heavy was. Yeah, getting your last hold from Dora at bed is a major bummer, because your last hold is like, you can, like, realistically... It's like, one of the holds where... If you don't mess up, it's impossible for the other team to do enough right to put push works. It takes, like, you messing up to be able to push. So. Uh. <coughs> um, I'd say, like, it, if I had to guess, your team just needed to play, like, a little bit more passive right after he died. Uh, yeah, our engineer didn't really have time. I don't think he had time to set up. Um... I didn't actually see, but that's what he was complaining about. Yeah. Yeah, there were just a couple holds where um, you lose so many people that you're not able to set up on the next point, which is like you have to like limit bleeding. Like you have to call like, like, hey, everybody who's alive right now, like, it needs to stay alive. You can't die anymore. Stuff like that. And like, if you're starting to lose a hold, especially on third, like, um. Is that half, like, third hold where you're outside of the point, basically, um, you should, like, don't worry too much about that hold, just worry about putting yourself in a position to hold last. Because third is hard to hold, right? Third is, third's a strong hold in itself, but last is, like, the best point to hold. So if you have to, like, give yourself a weaker third hold than you maybe could have had in order to have a really good last hold, it's worth it. We had a crappy third and a crappy last, and we could have done better on that since we had a pretty reasonable first and second. Yeah. Heavy um, is still on the phone. You can manage your sight line. Like you can, wa you could have walked out a little bit further to heal that um, soldier, but it's whatever. As long as you manage your sight lines, you don't have to wait for a sniper pick to walk out. Even the it looks like he is watching this cross here right now. I was kind of asking if I should come out, and I was I was constantly being told not to. Okay. Then um, I'm not sure if there was some kind of situation that led to that call. Uh, I would have to ask. Hold up, I think I come out here. Yeah. Okay, so the way this point works is, and I think I touched on this in the earlier review I did, is that this point will basically push itself if you put a sniper here. You know? There's not much that any team can do once you get a sniper there to stop you from capping. You can walk right into the right room here um, without putting yourself in any sight lines. Yeah, you have to like be aware that you're down a sniper. Yeah, this is good. You have to. You're the one watching. You need to be the one watching for spy right now. That's really good to find him out like that. When you uh, see like oh, when you're heavy, go see if Jesus. Yeah, um, the heavy is still on the phone, so we couldn't actually get the spy down. But at least he didn't pick anyone. Yeah, that's good awareness to see. Like if everyone in your combo is fighting aggressively. Um, and heavy finally gets off the phone. That's good managing your positioning to not put yourself in any danger while that scout got cleaned up. That's Did we get the gun? Yes, we got the gun. Yeah, that's a decent enough reboot. Uh, we mostly only forced them out. I don't think we got any important picks, but we got... I think we got a couple of members of the combo, and so at the very least the Uber yeah. pushed them out. Do you remember... Was that Uber called for by your demo? All of the Ubers have been called for my, by, okay. by the demo. Uh, on a couple of them, he did point out, like, what he does is he'll call, you know, uh, we're about to Uber, and then he'll call for the actual Uber, and a few uh -huh. times I did pop a little bit early, mm -hmm. um, if you've noticed that. Like, yeah. I possibly could have milked it for another yeah, like that, half a second or second. That Uber right there, once, like, your demo was through the choke, um, and you weren't... So that means their demo has to either commit to shooting your demo or just continuing to shoot only the choke. <coughs> and if he mm. shoots, if he, I mean, basically he has to back up because you can't win either of those fights. If he keeps shooting the choke, he dies, and if he keeps shooting the memo, you walk in and kill him. I 
Okay, you guys get... Okay, that's a good position. Um, we took a little bit more spam than I cared to, and I dropped the heavy and lost Vala. That was that was yeah. one of the crappier Ubers. He got way too far ahead. You definitely have better spy awareness than like the silver medics would. That's so that's good. I'm actually a pyro main. Oh okay. Yeah. Which I think helps. Yeah, I was I was kind of constant. I don't even know why the first demo that you reviewed of mine was so absolutely terrible. I don't really know what I was doing that day. Yeah. Um, I feel like this one is better, and that yeah. more of the problems are not mine and are my team's. Yeah. Though I do appreciate what you're saying about playing a little bit more aggressively with heals. Especially since Bala tends to play very, very far forward, and so does our Pyro. Yeah. Um, it would help him a lot if I were more confident in giving him heals. Yeah, because it looks like right up till now you've died like what run like once, right? Oh, well, now twice. That's a bummer. <coughs> yeah, that kind of. <coughs> but like, there are times where like dying in a fight isn't even a like if you put aggro enough heals out, like especially on offense that like both you and their medic die and like your team wins the fight overall like that's not a bad thing even if it adds a death um so i'd say like almost like two or three deaths in scrims is like because right now like if you still need a medic you want to be finding out how aggro you can play and the only way to find out how aggro you can play is when you go too aggressive and you realize oh i can't do that well, especially since our combo tends to play very aggro, just yeah. because that's kind of how Bala thinks. I mean, you know, he was like a Platinum Soldier main, so that's kind of his thing. Yeah. And that's kind of how it looks like he's playing demos, so if I could be more comfortable with that, then I think that that would help him. I was peeking a sightline hardcore there, yeah. but I should not have been. Whoops. I got very caught up in my team juggling the spy that was yeah. already pretty much dead. Ideally, the cart is as pushed as it can possibly be before you take the super in. Um, uh, yeah, he was he was calling for us to hold off because the cart was not pushed. Yeah, I so think now it's going for. Uh, we dropped the. Um, yeah, we just bled several um, players right there. Yeah, at this point, okay. If they had kept pushing and like started killing your demo, that's a position I would drop your demo. It didn't happen, but like if you've already had a, like two players die before an Uber, you might as well just drop your demo. Yeah, because it we're... takes it takes five, it takes eight seconds for your demos to spawn and like at least forty to build an Uber. So like sometimes, I mean, you, I wouldn't do it in a tryout scrim even. So. Oh, that's a spy. That's a spy. That's oh, yeah, a spy that I'm continuing to kill. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I'm so sorry for. Space. Oh my god. <laughs> that was painful to watch. I don't know how your demo got to here without you being with him. Uh, yeah, he just kind of goes places and doesn't actually call for me to follow him. Yeah. He, uh, that's part of why I'm saying that I need to play more aggro. He plays aggro without even really thinking about it, and yeah. just kind of goes. I, it's ideally, like, it's really helpful for you to say when you're gonna stop healing him, rather than him to say when, like, he wants you to leave him. And, like, once you're able to start working on that, too. Like, if you notice he's just somewhere where all that's gonna happen is he's gonna die. <coughs> like Inexplicably, say, like, he doesn't, though I think yeah. that that's more because we're in silver than yeah. because his positioning is flawless. Plus, he actually hits pipes consistently. Oh my friggin' god. Yeah, the only person that picked me was the spy. In both scrims. Yeah. Even the one where we got rolled against Timeless, I only think I died once to him. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's again, just because my combo is playing so aggro, and so half the time I'll be, I'll be stuck somewhere, and I'll mostly just be watching out for spy myself, so yeah. if I were a little bit further forward. They would probably be able to help out more.
This is a really awkward area to stage from. Okay, yeah. I like that you moved. Okay, that was good. Um, getting- I don't- you sort of stayed in the hallway a little bit too long, I'd say. Um, it's basically as soon as possible you want to start moving out of that, uh, that hallway, just because it's really easy for, like, if you're committed there, it's easy for a soldier to bomb you or, like, combined or something. I felt very uncomfortable there. Yeah. I was I was worried that I was going to get picked by the sniper or the soldier or just take a lot of demo spam and die to something silly. Yeah. Um, I should bring that up. Yeah, well, that's... all right. You, if you're, like, in last, you either want to be committed or outside. Like, sitting in that hallway is just such a good spam, like, angle for them. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Are well, alright. Uh, questions or anything? I'm not sure that I do. I feel like I'm taking reasonable advantage of crit heals. Um, I can surf okay as long as I'm not positioning myself in a stupid way. Yeah. Uh, anything in particular? No, it's mostly just positional stuff and yeah. learning the strategies for maps. I mean, I feel that my mechanics are reasonably solid, right. since I actually am good at another class, mm -hmm. and it's a class with very similar mechanics to Medic. It's more just actually, you know, the positioning and things, because Obviously, Medic is a lot more positioning heavy than Pyro, since everything is trying to kill you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Alright, no problem. Um, I will probably come to you when I 